So with all of the information available on the internet, how can you get it using Python? So I've got this web page up here and I've opened up the developer console like this and I can see the HTML in there. There's a bunch of information. This could be any website. In this case, I've got a bunch of products and I want to get all of that information, take it and store it locally. So I've got that data set. So how am I going to approach that? Well, the first thing is going to be, can I get all of that HTML? Can I access that in Python? And yeah, I can do that by making a get request to that web page. So to do that, I'll just import requests. And I'll do requests.get and then that web page. So I'll just take that URL and put that in here. And then I'll say response is equal to this. And then let's print the response.content. Now I'm going to run this. Nice. So that looks something like HTML. It looks like a byte string of HTML. So you could try and be smart about it and write your own functions to get different parts of this HTML out. But of course, there's already libraries for that. And one of those is beautiful soup. If we look at the quick start, you can see they've got a string much like we have of HTML and you want to get it in some kind of structured object, which has the right methods and attributes would make it really easy to select out the right kind of data. So what I'm going to do is from VS4 import beautiful soup. And then I can create this beautiful soup object from the HTML string, which I've got. And by specifying a particular parser, which is something that knows how to read through the HTML structure and break it down into its constituent components. And now when I do that, you can see that BS4 has created something that at least has been broken down into the different constituents. But this isn't just a string. This is an object which has all kinds of attributes and useful methods for finding what you want in the HTML. So in the docs, we can see it's got a method called .prettify. And if I print html.prettify, what's returned from that function, then it gives me the indentation too. And that's all of the HTML, which makes up the content on the web page, which I've requested. Going back to the docs, you can see there's a bunch of other stuff you can get as well. So this dot title attribute returns you the title tag for the page. If you do the dot name of that title attribute, then it gives you what's actually included within the tag. And all these different attributes, I think they inherit from the same class in BS4 because you can do things like dot parent, dot name, dot find all on any of those. So we'll look at find all in a second, but firstly, let's just have a play around with some of these dot titles, dot names dot name of tag attributes, which we can get. So let's look at our page and see what we've got here. Now, let's say the problem is that I want to get a data set of all of these products. Well, I'm looking for wherever this is. I can use a shortcut control shift C on Safari and Mac to bring up the selector. Otherwise you can use this icon or something else, depending on which browser you're in to hover over and find what you're looking for. So if I click here, it will highlight that in HTML. And so I can see that all of the products are included within this thing. This is a table which has ID equal to gift list. And then within that table, each of these products is in a TR tag. That's for table row. And within that, then I've got these different TDs. I think that's for table data or something. So the first thing I want to do is get a list of all these different table rows. And if we look at the example in the documentation, when I ask for a particular tag, it looks like it gets me the first one. So a naive way to go about this might be to do something like HTML dot TD. Let's take a look at what that gives us. And yeah, it looks like it gives us this TD. So that is the first cell of table data that appears in my HTML. It's this thing here. I actually wanted the TR, didn't I? One of the table row. So if I do dot tr, then I'm going to get all of this. And that's the first product. That's actually not the first product. Sorry. That's the, that's the heading of the table, which is also a table row. So we've got this tr, which has th, which has got the table headings. So that's a bit of a problem, right? The data, which I wanted, wasn't the first instance in this data set. 
And so what I want to do is rather than just get the first one by default, I want to find all of the tags in the website which match the criteria for what I'm looking for. So we go back to the documentation and you can see dot find all. So I can specify dot find all and then I can specify the tag type like that. So that is all of the TR tags which appear in my website. And it comes back as this type BS4 element result set, which is kind of like a list. So I can index that thing to get the different TRs and obviously I could look through it and that kind of thing as well. So now that I've got that, I want to find the contents inside it. So I'm going to start setting this up as if I was actually working on this. So I'm going to say, um, let me get the products by doing html.findall. Like that. And I know the first TR isn't a product, so I want to get from the second one onwards. And so for product in product, I want to get the information for that particular product. And so each of these products is going to be another thing, much like the HTML. It's going to have the same attributes and methods that can be used to search for things within that tag. So now I've got each product, I'm just going to print what that looks like. And you can see each product is one of those TRs. So within that, I want to find the columns which represent each different piece of data. And to do that, I need to do find all TD. And what that does is get me this result set of all of the different TDs in each of these products. So you can see the first one is the mystery box. That's the name of the product, then the description, then the price, and then the image, and that's the product. So I want to basically get the contents of each of those data cells, and then I want to unpack them and store them in my own data format. So I know that they're going to come in this order every time, and all of them look like that kind of string format, except the image. So what I'm going to do is I'll handle the image first. I'll get the image by popping that off the end of the data. And then let's print that. So there's the image. And now just the title, description, and price are left in the product. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unpack those into their own variables. But before I do that, I don't actually want the tag. I just want the text which is inside. So I'm going to map the data into the text for each of those different columns. So for each different feature, which is either the name, description, or price, I'm going to do feature.text or feature in data. And now if I print that data, I hope that it just shows me the text for each of them. So it looks like I've got some strange formatting, the backslash ends representing new lines, which I need to format out, but we'll save that for another time. So then, then I've unpacked those three things into different variables. And what I want to end up with is something like this. I'm going to have a dictionary of the product data. It's going to have a name, which is going to be the title. It's going to have a description. And it's going to have a price. But I still need to process the image. So what I'm going to do from that image BS4 object, I'm going to get its image tag, which I can do with dot name of tag, as we saw previously. Then I somehow want to get the attributes of that tag. What I want to know is what's the source of this. And typically, this wouldn't be a relative path but this would be another URL online where you could download the image from. And I'll show you that in another example. So usually the source represents a URL which you can download the image from. I don't want the tag, I want the source URL. So let's look at the docs, see how I get that. So it looks like here I've found that I can get any tag and do dot atras to get the attributes of that tag. So let's take a look at that so far. Of course, it doesn't represent the image source yet. It represents the attributes. 
but let's just see if we've got that right. Great. So now we've got a dictionary which has the source in. Obviously, what I need to do then is just index that dictionary for the source. And now I've got the source for each of the images. Like I said, there usually won't be a relative path is because it's a very old, basic website. There will usually be a full URL, typically to a uh, online storage like S3, where you can download the image from. And once you've got that source, you want to download the image locally. And then you could link that to your product data by specifying it in a file or a folder name. And you could put that in here. So that should give you an idea of how you can use BS4 and requests to at least do some rudimentary web scraping and get data using Python.